to open the meeting. Um, we'll call it 6.05. Um, and let's see, are there any adjustments at all to the agenda for tonight? No. I don't have anything either. Any public comment? No. Um, Laura? So Come on. Statements of outrage. <laughs> I already heard that. I will make a motion that we approve the bills to the town. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And then I would make a motion that we approve um, the minutes for the um, December 9th select board meeting and the minutes for the um, December 12th and December 19th special um, select board budget meetings. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> Sign on the dotted line here. And my pen's coming apart. My last night. Last night with that pen? Yeah. Let's see, this is 12. Put it in the budget. Yeah, broke the afford it. There's one. Thank you. Once and for your accounting, but yeah, we can do it again. Excuse me. <coughs> so, Lee and Richard were, were all set for you guys. Like to wait until the other person comes, or no? No. Okay. Can I just take a minute? Can I Lee Seidenberg? Hey, Richard. How are you doing? Not bad, you? Not bad at all. Is it good? Dead right now. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Just the bottom has dropped out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dead tires and season's done. It's not, it's not right. yet time for mufflers and broken. I want to get the Christmas shopping done. Christmas shopping. There's, There's always a lag in January until yeah. the tax money yeah. starts to come in, and they start fixing the car. Then they start fixing it. Yeah. <laughs> when the IRS starts to pay back. <laughs> I have a friend with a shop too. Yeah. <laughs> Casey, yeah. Yeah, because it's dead yeah, until sure. like February or March when people's tax returns start to come in and they start buying stuff again. <laughs> so, um, how, what's happening with the well, I want to talk to, to Bear about that. Yeah. And uh, he seemed to think that he, you don't need to do a uh, survey. Survey thing. Okay. So he's willing to so just, just have it staked off. And, yeah. Just long, you know, get something written down that he's mm -hmm. donating so much land, and mm -hmm. you know, and I, and uh, he said, don't don't worry about the trees and the stumps. He said, I got a small excavator. I'll cut the trees down. I'll pull the stump. Yeah, told me that too. So you know, it's and he's not going to charge course. anything. Yeah. He's going to do it on his own. Yeah. But there's some friends up there that friend. Well, there's another guy that owns that land with him, and yeah. I guess get his parents. They really want to be buried there, and he wants to make sure there's room enough. So yeah. that's why he's Watch willing that. to donate it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I told him that we could move the fence down, you know, closer to the road, because there is a little distance between the <coughs> bank and the Yep. Yep. Let's carry one out. Go ahead. Chair and put it over there. Come on in. So, anyways, uh, I don't bite. So he's willing to no, cut the trees down, and move the stump. So <laughs> yeah. I really can't see any problems. You know, it ain't nothing that's going to cost us a lot of money. Mm -hmm. If you just write up something, I, mean, I don't know how you want to write it out. You know, but uh, and I ain't, and I'm not sure. I'm thinking. Well, we went. 75 feet beyond above it go from where the fence is now went yeah. 75 feet 
you know, and that would give us another, I ain't sure how wide that is, as far as getting graves in there, you know. that would give us quite a, quite a bit of space, you know. So you're talking about just going straight back with the present sidelines and the yeah. other 75 Where the feet. corner folks I just go yeah. straight back 75 feet. He said he wasn't, it didn't matter to him, you know. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to give up a thousand feet. <laughs> yeah. You know, the way he talked, 75 feet would be no problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He really didn't specify that either, mm -hmm. you know. He said, whatever you need. So. That's what he said to me too as well. So. You know. Mm -hmm. So even if they, if, if a survey isn't necessary, you'd still have to have a deed written up and maybe you could get somebody with a GPS to, to um, you know, mark the corners so they could be referenced in the deed to say, you know, X number of feet this way, that way, so, mm -hmm. you know, all that stuff. Probably the easiest thing is to go out there and measure, if they're going straight, measure straight back and just square measure it off, drive right some pins in. One back but we will need to get an attorney to do a quick claim deed. Right, yeah. yeah. But just going straight back. So somebody from the cemetery commission is willing to go with him and stake that out and get the description of the addition clearly yeah. written and we'll get it to the attorney yeah. to do the deed and then mm -hmm. everybody can sign. How much would that cost? I'm guessing it'll be two to two to five hundred bucks. I'm guessing yeah. typically for deed work. Somebody's gonna have to pay for that it. Be, yeah. 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 Oh, I don't know why if the guy donating land, why he's got to pay for that. Yeah, he would. Yeah, right. Because he wants it. <laughs> I think he would pay for it. Well, yeah, absolutely. Anytime we expand, we gotta buy it. This maybe is pretty cheap land. If we can't pay for it, maybe you don't try it. Maybe I'll get half the money for the lots when they sell them. <laughs> get well, I think it's fine if you guys are willing to just basically measure out whatever. You go straight back, make it a nice yeah. square. Just say we're going 100 feet or 150 feet, and then square yeah, it off. Describe you know, it. Yeah, once it. you walk the land, you see what it's like. And, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a good time to get all you can. That walking it, it like walking out in the woods. I mean, yeah. it's it should be pretty easy to describe that way. Yeah. 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 But just have pins put in and. Just have the pins put in and. I don't think it, I don't even think he's worried about a nope. quick claim deed. No, he's probably not. You know, well, we got to do it for our benefit. We'll do it we have it. So if you got to do it for your benefit, then yeah. I can't see him paying for it. No, right. You know. Yeah. No, it's not. So I hope Paul Gillies would do that deed for us, probably. Yeah. He's got somebody in his office. Yeah. I'm guessing that number. I knew the last time I did one, it was a couple hundred, depending on what they have to do. Yeah. yeah. Especially if we can bring them. You know, the numbers and mm -hmm. just, you mm -hmm. just gotta we go just down need a description, that's yeah. all. Description, yeah. yeah. So I guess the uh, only thing I gotta do is go back and talk to him. And, you know, I thought I might wait and talk to you guys. Yeah. And yeah. Mm -hmm. See what you yeah, thought, you, you know. Go up in the spring yeah. sometime with him, and as, even as yeah. a board or yourself, whatever, right. and walk it off and mm -hmm. mark it off, and we'll. Because we still got that if we needed to. Like I thought him we could move the fence. Because we own to the road. Yep. So we could move it down. Mm -hmm. There's no room that way that we can go if we need to at some point in time. Right. Yeah. And that's his property too? No, in the front tower property. It is, okay. It's that was in the front of that the road, road, yeah. There's only probably 15 to 20 feet. But you can get a couple of lots out of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Before you got the way it dropped off. Mm -hmm. If he's willing to donate some, he's yeah. going to. Cut the tree and take the stumps out. Yeah. Ain't gonna cost us nothing. Do all the site work for us. That's great. Yeah. That's perfect. Thank you, Bear. Good job watching. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> because uh, you'd have to be West Woodbury's growing. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. West Woodbury's growing. People getting out, wanting to get out. Yeah. And a lot of people in West Woodbury. You know. A lot of houses up that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what they said to me. Is that you know some of them would like to be buried up there and that. Cemetery is almost full now. Yeah, it's it just about full. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it makes sense for those guys. So, yeah, good. Okay, then. That's the part I want now. Okay. Get, us, get it marked. Let us know when you're ready with the description. We'll get it to the attorney. Yeah, we've got a yeah. lawyer. So we'll do that. Well, the way he talked, he just wanted something put down on paper. That yeah. Yeah. Footage, how much he. Yep, just go up and mark it and measure it. And you know, I'm just saying 75. Yeah. You know, that would give us another yeah. six rolls of Yeah, once you walk it, you may you know? find it a different number, more or less. Right. You know, yeah. Just, what yeah. makes sense, yeah, look at the ground and... Yeah. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Pete. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Well, they, they still will have to buy lots in the cemetery, like anybody else would.
what, however that's done. I've never had to. He didn't ask for no locks. No, I oh, mean, I, it, I would have told me, yeah, yeah they're people happy to buy them off. Yeah, I mean, they're not that yeah, expensive. Like, yeah. Are they $400 or something like that? Yeah, I mean, it's $100 and that's right. Well, no. It's perfect. It's more on the board, though, than most. There are yeah. two more. Two more. Yeah. Sheila's still on? No. No, she didn't get reelected last year. Yeah. That was a fear by someone, but yeah, she didn't show up or say that she would tell somebody. No one, no one let, she didn't let anyone know yeah. that she wanted, she wanted to, be to be, and she wasn't there either. So, so um, as of today, all of my appropriations are paid. So I noticed that. Lots of checks today to sign. Yeah. Um, so therefore, I did a transfer of mm -hmm. forty thousand to cover. Um, I just had a couple <coughs> questions about on some of the bills. Was the consolidated communication yeah. bill was that just for the library, <coughs> or was that for everybody? Oh, it's for everybody. Okay. Sorry, it's yeah. just a portion. Okay. So yeah. Okay, that was just a question. Yep. Because of, um, and then the the. Um, because I have to make copies so that it, yep. um, to go into the library fund and mm -hmm. then one to come back to me. Or right. to, to go That's why it was kind of had library fund on the yeah. front. Okay. <coughs> this, the uh, bill from Skip Marcosani, was that for yes. updating the computers? Yes. Great. Okay. So drives for each of them, new drives. Mm -hmm. um, backed them up, all of them. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's good. Yeah. They're much faster now. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. Okay. <coughs> um, and his labor is free. Yeah. Don't argue with that. No. He, he does yeah, an amazing job, and he's mm -hmm. always done it for, mm -hmm. for nothing. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was my, was just a couple, most, mostly for my own knowledge more than anything else. But. Mm -hmm. um, let me think. Yeah, I didn't get done until four today, so that's why I don't have a I don't have a um, that's fine. It's delinquencies it's, coming in. It's um, the nature of this time of year, and that's why yeah. I don't know why we didn't want to meet tonight. I'm busy. So, so, so um, so I will be. Tom always used to get reports ready for for um, the town report mm -hmm. um, in an Excel spreadsheet format that he used to do it. Now we have Nimrick. I just literally punch in the dates, and that's the mm -hmm. report that's going into the town report. Mm -hmm. So I'll be doing that stuff, mm -hmm. entering the, the budgets. Mm -hmm. I've already entered um, the library budget that was voted on. Um, the general fund needs to be done with the new appropriations calculated in adding mm -hmm. a couple. Mm -hmm. Get the final numbers in. Same thing with the highway. Um, that'll be done, and then. Um, revisit that in the fall. Okay, yeah. I have a few more things to um, add to the highway, but I want to kind of try to account for the um, the grants. I, I thought I would put in the Better Roads grant that we applied for, even though we don't know if we're going to... Is that the 12,000? Mm, um, I can't remember what the town match would be, but um, yeah, I think it's roughly around that. But, you know, we don't know if we're going to get it or not, but I think we might as well we just budget stick it. Stick it in as a walk, yeah. 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 And it would be basically. Revenue expense. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so, so there's a few other things okay. that, that I we need have to add in. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, maybe at some point I could come down and, and um, you know, I could try to get those figures. Oh, and then reconciling those two grants. We have to meet right. two at some point and do yeah. that. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, so there's a little bit more to do on that. Something else. I'm not sure when do we have a deadline of when that all, all needs to be done. And Diane probably knows. The grants? No, the, the to have the, the, the budget report. done for the yeah, town report. Uh, well, usually the second week in January okay. goes to right. the it goes to the. Yeah. So that is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which short time. gives us. A short <coughs> yeah. yeah. There's yeah. not a lot left. Though. No, there is. Just little stuff. Meet that second Monday. Yeah, it's a. That's what finalize the budget. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we received another invoice from Brookfields. I saw that. I still took that out of the, the school money. 
Okay. Do we have a line item for the emergency generator at all? Do we budget any money for? In the general fund, we do. And then we do, yeah. Yeah. But that's pretty much what that's we budget is is the yearly, yeah. the yearly fee and and a, and a fuel amount. Yes. Yeah. No yeah. service work that has been right. done because that's new to us. And right. that sounds like that service was sort of a, not necessarily an emergency I'm one, but something that happened. Was the noise that probably there's something that stopped. It was an alarm. Oh, the it was something for about coal. in in the invoice. It said something about a cold, low temperature. It was like an alarm oh, alerting them. Yep, yeah, that the machine, probably the heater, block heater, wasn't running. Yeah, the so so they put a new they put a new because a lot of that's there. all run from that control box. Now there was other yeah. boxes before. Now it's all run from the control box. It keeps track of the temperature of the motor. So that was a special. That so was like a maintenance service yeah. for something that wasn't okay. functioning right. Yeah. So I'll also have Don come in and sign off on that one. Okay. Um, so we might want to have a line item in the future for the emergency generator just for something like that. It wouldn't be a lot, but carry just, over X amount of money in it. Just right, for, just just you know, like a, a repair uh, fee or something. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Other things. I can't think of anything. No. Anything else. So just preparing knowing that uh, with January coming, the increase in minimum wage, mileage will be an increase, and plugging those things all into right, the system that. for every ballot okay. clerk. Okay, yeah. Um, ballot clerk stuff, yeah. Because they get the minimum wage increase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so yeah, if we can meet, right. you and I, yep. before the 13th of January, yeah. And, um, or even the Yeah. Uh, let's see, what's... I don't know how long it does take at the February. Yeah, what's... And a month to us to get the books out, or they'll mail it. Yeah, what would be, is there a good time, like, let's see, I could meet in the morning then, or I have open time, um, this, this afternoon, that Tuesday afternoon, um, that Monday afternoon, um, pretty much the whole day there, the 8th. Um, so Do you still have Thursdays off or no? I have Thursday morning off. I have I now have a work commitment in the afternoon, pretty much every Thursday. But I have the morning free. So, uh. so if I'm looking at this week, this week, from today on, I'm going to have family at the okay, house. Nope, and, nope, yeah. nope. Yeah. So All right. Or so tomorrow. Plan on the second. Okay. Right. Right. Is that down. good? That's fine. Do you still have? I would have work. I have work in the afternoon, but um, I would have the morning. No, no, but do you still have family home? No, they're family all they're all gone. They go <laughs> they go home for the their New Year's celebration. <laughs> All right, so let's plan on okay. the second. Yeah. And then I can be here. I know you're up early. Yeah, I can be here in, in, any time. Well, whatever works for you. Four o'clock in the morning. Right. <laughs> I am up at four if you want to be. Want to do eight? Sure. Want to do eight in that way. Right. It's not rushing. Okay. And it's quiet. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? No, it's no quiet. That's the big one. Yeah. Yeah. Get through it. Alrighty. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Diana. Okay. Are you ready or not? We can do some other stuff if you have time. Squeeze that. Okay. Sent us this sheaf of QuickBooks invoices, mm -hmm. and I and I really wasn't very sure that it was correct, so I 
put the numbers on an Excel spreadsheet. And okay. I haven't finished it yet, but this is what is here. There's the issue of the uh, additional money that he asked for for dredging up those last two pieces of concrete, those huge flat concrete pieces that were over the stream. And, you know, it was always our understanding that that was part of the project. You know, when they're done with everything, they pick up whatever's left. Uh, basically okay. roll up the parking lot and leave the stream open, but he didn't see it that way because in the RFP and in the contract we actually mentioned pavement. Mm -hmm. And pavement, you know, he thought, so the asphalt that was on top of this concrete he hopefully dealt oh. with separately and then when it came to the concrete he didn't, he claimed he didn't know that that was part of the project. Well, no, that's, it was hard to see it because it was a building over it. Yeah, you couldn't well, see no, it. Oh no, that so. wasn't that was the part closest to the culverts. Well, where, where the, the state the, culverts. The, 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 under the... The concrete went much further beyond that. We went and, and Brian and I went and looked at it. It was almost... The yeah, whole all area, the area yeah. was all concrete. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, the build, and the building was on top of it, the addition. Um, oh, that addition, that, the yeah. one that they yeah. had to take out separately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was a lot yeah. of extra concrete. It was... It was, it was, it was it was some yeah, yeah. 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 railroad iron and everything else was in there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It must have been there like for a long, long time. It must have been there for a long time. It looked old. Yeah. yeah. It had been there for a long time. And it was under dirt, like you had this much dirt and then yeah. you had a big slab yeah. and you had railroad iron yeah. holding it up. Wow. So it's amazing how small the brook was actually. You see, even this, even even this, down you see how much yeah. lower the storm drain that there actually is? That whole area's been built up and yeah. over time that yeah. was put in a long time ago. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so I mean, I, I can understand why, you know, it wasn't really in the RFP and um, it wasn't really visible. No one no one really knew about it. So. Yeah, we expected well, there would be some yeah. extras anyways, but yeah. he hit a line that broke the water line off to Jake's place. Yeah. They, they come over the next morning because mm -hmm. they see the water running and Jake mm -hmm. didn't have water the night before, so I turned his off downstairs. Mm -hmm. And the next morning we turned it on and it was mm -hmm. shooting. Which I oh, told him several times, but the yeah, first thing too, to yeah. do was to look, okay, it was shut off in the basement. That's what was expected. Yeah. But that they should have just dug right by the foundation and found where that, yeah. you know, make Little sure that... Came there's water lines running all over. Every time I've dug a hole in the village, there's water lines running. Water running. Yeah. Water so I guess, everywhere. you know, yeah. yeah. So, so I know there's water be, still running, so okay. you can burn the pump out. All right, good. <laughs> Good. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm fine with them. Um, okay. And I am as well. Wait, well, it says pavement. Yeah. yeah. It just is what it is. <laughs> and you did a and good I job. Think, and I, yeah, I don't know. I think, um... He's going to be back in the spring anyways to do a little bit more ground. Right, right. right. What themselves. they said was this this first Topsoil one is this change yeah. order for the uh, stabilizing the site was $14,082 and he said he would bill for half of that now. Okay. Because <clears throat> um, all he could really do now is just kind of spread some sand around. He couldn't, it was frozen. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I asked for um, silt fence on both sides of the stream, uh, and I'll have to go back and check my emails. The side of the stream that's closest to the road, I mean, it was like a lot of just dirt. There wasn't anything built up there. Mm -hmm. And all he did was cover it with hay, which seems like, you know, as soon as the water gets high, that's going to wash away. I wonder if maybe we should have our guys put some riprap stone in there mm -hmm. at this point. But Brian, or Michael mentioned maybe having Jerem Borg come and take a look at it yeah, when yeah. it's finished. Do you think we should do that? Yeah, it wouldn't hurt just to get his take on what we, you know, should do. Because we should anticipate that in the spring there's going to be a good amount of water coming down. Mm -hmm. um, and then he's going to have to come back and smooth everything and put yeah, it on. He's got to work. He's gonna, if it washes too much, it'll be his problem. And, and and I can, we're right. still going to do Yeah, but it's not his problem once the water's in the stream. It's once not the his problem. It's our, it's our, I mean, the dirt. Once the dirt's in the stream, it's. Uh -huh. It's kind of like the environment's open, problem. No, I got it. It's not finished What's either. We're still going to do the walls. And well, we, we, what we need to do, you know, that's a whole, that's another that's section grand. of work. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, to and a whole other permit to dig around in there. Right. right. Yeah. And right. And uh, I think Michael said that the regional planning commission might have some access to some money for. And we may want to wait until the state tells us oh. what they're doing with their 
culvert before mm -hmm. we mess with the rest of it too much. Yeah, once we see what it's like. You know, say in the spring when it thaws out, because the state's eventually going to do some of that culvert. I hate to do a lot of work and then mm -hmm. have to redo it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is kind of an irony that the whole purpose of this FEMA grant that yeah. we got was to open the stream, up. the stream, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and then they don't want to through a flooding issue, and then they drop yeah. it. They yeah. drop that part of it. It's like mm -hmm. really so, cool. Yeah. yeah. So, Can't make it up. Right. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, what we were thinking would have been part of this project is um, through the FEMA grant is that there would be some kind of engineering that maybe Don Marsh would do that for how to. To configure the stream yep. and bank the banks as, as it comes to it, yeah, route 14, down, straight down, uh, and then, and then that, work, that work would have been it kind of abruptly just runs into those concrete sort of head walls there right. that, mm -hmm. that that isn't going to last forever. So mm -hmm. right. the state's going to have yeah. to. And it still gets mm -hmm. narrow. The good part is that's in the yeah. state's right away. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. their yeah. problem. Yeah. So eventually, that you know, the stream banks, there's going to be some type of restoration work. Yeah. Right mm -hmm. now, you've got a nice uh, granite block wall that the right. water can run into. Hopefully, that'll hold it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I guess we should probably start looking for how we, how the town could get some help paying for that work. Um, I, I don't remember the regional planning, something. but maybe, <coughs> I, I mean, I can ask. Um, it's also possible that there might be some more FEMA money. They didn't shut that door mm -hmm. really, but we're yeah. gonna. We'd still need to ask for these change orders, the extra 5% that he wanted mm -hmm. because of the delay. And I mean, it's been like 10 months probably. <laughs> I, I thought that was fair. Yeah, and yeah. then the change order to stabilize the site, once they took away the money for uh, repairing the stream bank, um, we still need to have mm -hmm. some closure on the site. Yeah. And, uh, and then there was the uh, change for more asbestos, mm -hmm. yeah. and now there'll be the fifty-eight hundred dollars for the additional work over the on those concrete. Yeah. And then I can't help but mention putting all that dirt and concrete chunks over by uh, um, is it Cooper Kingsbury Branch before it goes under Valley Lake Road. Mm -hmm. It was. I mean, with all the work and all the study and the legislation and all the trainings and stuff that people have been going to, to put that much dirt back in the floodplain after we've just taken it out across the road seemed absurd. And I don't know how that happened. Um, Jeremy said that Greg Parkhurst, Parkhurst told him it was okay. And I'm sure the landowner was fine with it. Yeah, well, I, I'm... I, um, Brian and I went and looked at it and talked to Jeremy about it, and um, we thought that the road crew would have a place for it either at the town garage, so um, I told um, Jeremy and Brian that I would talk to Greg about it, and um, which I did, and he said, you know, really wouldn't work to dump it at the town garage because of the, you know, piles of gravel and stuff, they wouldn't be able to get to the bank to dump mm -hmm. it, but he had, there was a spot, um, I guess off Lake Hill Road, that guy who wanted some fill. So mm -hmm. that's that's where it was left um, when I spoke with Greg. But mm -hmm. and I don't know what, why they weren't able to dump it there. Um, or did they choose not to? I don't know. Uh, well, it wouldn't it have been that much out. further. I mean, I know it wouldn't so, have been. So he kind of owns that mess because he's he oh. dumped it there. The contract. Oh, uh, I don't know. I think the landowner kind of owns it, in my opinion. Oh, well, well, obviously, we, it we paid him to haul it away. I mean, they. Yeah, obviously, somebody either um, Ron asked to have it dumped there, oh, or I'm sure he was happy with it. Yeah. yeah so I mean, so then it'd be Ronnie's problem. Yeah. 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 I mean, he'd already been in trouble with filling there in the past. Uh -huh. He was told at one time to stay 30 feet from the stream, mm -hmm. and um, now he's maybe 10 feet. Plus, all that mess is not seeded. There's no silt vents yeah. or anything so mm -hmm. that's going to make a mess and probably you know if the water comes down i realize it's channelized when it comes out of the big swamp area and it goes behind the church and behind uh, scott's building and and then uh it was a little space where it could spread out a little bit behind the church but now it's going to not going to be that much so it'll just wash out the down road. Yeah, well, it doesn't look like he's <laughs> encroached on the space, and it just looks like the 
I think that bank that's there has always yeah. been there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really hard to he tell. He didn't go any closer to the book than what's been you there think? the last year. Yeah. How can you double that? I can't, but it seems like it's going to be a state <laughs> E&R problem to deal with it because it's his. Right. I mean, I've walked. I well, but if, but if somebody, but if somebody were to make a complaint, the town has already said they're not going to do that. But I don't. Right. Well, uh, you know, I've walked behind. Unless somebody complains. I've walked that. Uh, there's a beaver baffle down over mm -hmm. on the Durkee's property, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty familiar with that whole stretch. Mm -hmm. And uh, there isn't. It's not any closer to the stream mm -hmm. than it ever was before. Mm -hmm. So, um, so should be should be the okay. impact. Then. Right. Yes. So. Um, you know, it isn't that far away from the stream, but it does, it, a lot of it is just block and rock, and um, I don't know how much dirt was with the mm -hmm. cement slabs. It was more the cement slabs mm -hmm. that got moved. Oh, is that what it was over there? Yeah, some rocks. Well, I, it was hard to tell, because when I went and looked at it, it was covered with snow. Mm -hmm. but, um, just wait till spring and see what it looks like. Yeah. Well, I just think that, you know, if it was such a big deal that you had to come and clean up, you know, dig up my front yard, that there should be more concern for what goes into the water. You have a nice ditch by the road. Yeah. In, in the town <laughs> right, in the town right yeah. away. Sometimes it, it actually itself. gets a little water in it. Uh, well, that's, that's oh, the top. Ditch top I know. missed the ditch, did you? You missed that one. Okay. <laughs> that was a couple of years ago. Okay. So All right. Ditching from her driveway down. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Stone yeah. in it. It's like, like just about 50, we're 50 we're miles from Lake Champlain, but you know, every little bit counts. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. Well, that's what the way the state looks at it, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's covering our butts with the So state. I'm going to submit another change. I got the, I submitted a change application to uh, Ben Rose, who's Lauren's mm -hmm. boss, and he's she's still you know helping him. Yeah. And then I told him about this other fifty-eight hundred dollars that I really thought was just a a misunderstanding as far as what was involved and how mm -hmm. the whole project was described in the RFP and in the contract and they didn't seem to think it was a big deal. So. Okay, that's good. So I'll put that one in too. Okay. Okay. Right. And then it went, hopefully at the next meeting we'll have something for you, you know, for you to pay. Good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I was amazed at that brook when I walked down. Once it's all got opened up, how yeah. how narrow it got. Yeah, when it went under that. It's really stress. channeled, and then it goes right up against that. You really see the storm. The old storm drain is way down. Yeah. So that's all come up over time. Mm -hmm. That head wall had to be put in there. Oh my God! A long, long time ago. Yeah. yeah a, long time ago. a couple of years ago, when I did the crawl through there, that the metal culvert was pretty much a third to half full of. of you know, gravel and it looks nice. The bottom of the stream is nice and even with the culverts. Yeah, now, so yeah. it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. That should flow good. Should mm -hmm. flow good. Yeah. yeah. But you can see how that is a bottleneck. Oh, yeah. Your next blockage will when logs go across the culvert. But now right. it's going to be the stage. But now problem. we can see them at least. And it's the yeah, stage problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. something right. in there right away. In there right away, according to their own words. They said, "We'll take care of our right away." Yeah. Yeah. Unless yeah. they get caught in that little. Corner, and, the, and it'd be so easy for us to get the bottom layer yeah, up above. It'd be the easy to get the, tr the town track if we had to to move it. Yeah, right. Had to, yeah. 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 Okay, so um, the old Quarry Road spur hearing, I just wanted uh, <coughs> to, we'll actually be having that hearing before um, our next yeah, light yeah, board meeting, right. January 10th. Um, I've been talking a little bit to the um, property owners, um, Roy Eastman. Roy Eastman specifically, and then he's kind of communicating with the other property owner. Um, he requested that I kind of that we mark out, and I think it would be good for the site hearing, um, site visit, to have his where his property lines are marked out. Um, so I was going to contact the uh, surveyor. surveyor. Yeah. Yeah. She may have already done that. I really haven't been up there to look. But, so um, by the other property owner you're talking about, Colton? No, um, no okay. that piece of property is owned by two, two people, two okay. separate um, entities. Yeah. Um, so um, you don't anticipate any problems with them? They haven't expressed that they're. Going no, to he seems. Here. You know, he. It's got to be a benefit for them too. To right. Good for right. Them. Yeah, and it's just it's just a small little piece. Tiny, little tiny. Piece, it's yeah. just that yeah. little tiny little corner. Probably yeah. get covered with this table. Yeah. yeah. He has the survey that that we said yeah. Jeanette did, and we talked That's about good. it. And, yeah. So. Um, and he works for the, the town or city where he lives in New Jersey. He's 
probably, you know, like the assistant director of public works. Okay. So I'm sure he's familiar he with all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, Sees the public good in it. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, I don't, and he <coughs> said he might try to be here. I okay. told him, you know, it's a long way. And, For a um, short hearing, I hope. Yeah. One question I have, do we want to have uh, Michael Tarrant here, or this should be pretty simple. I think we could probably... We're only going to need to hear testimony from the new... Yeah. Or is this not to hear new testimony from Coleman? It's not to hear any, you know, the, the others are we've already done. I suppose done. we've opened ourselves to it, but... Coleman, I'm sure, will be here and probably will have something to say, but um, if he, you know, goes off the subject, then... Just put him back yeah, on the subject, right. we're only talking about the new little that, window. That, right. little car, yeah. Yeah. that just yeah. corners. Yeah, I don't see any reason to have... No. Would say the money. Yeah, I, I think yeah. we're comfortable with yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, all right. So we should be pretty well set. Um, what day I, is that again? It's uh, Friday, January 10th. Friday, January 10th. No, uh, 9 a.m. is when we schedule it to start. So there'll be a site visit first. Wear your, like wear your snowmobile suit because it'll be right. cold. Right, we'll see. Yeah. How so much we're going to meet down the town hall first? Well, no, we're, we're going to do everything here. I figure there's not going to be that many people. So we'll yeah. go here, then go to the site. And yeah, we'll back. meet here, we'll go up, up to the, the site, area. and then come back here, and then uh, conduct the hearing. Um, I'll tape it. like or record it, I guess. No longer any tape involved, but um, and then you know we'll do the same Make sure that yeah, do our thing, yeah. <coughs> Friday, January tenth. Friday, January tenth, yeah. yeah. I'll send out a office. reminder. Yes, yeah, um, it's in here. Eight AM, nine AM? Nine AM. Nine AM here. I'll probably check in with the lawyer, uh, Michael Turan. Yeah, just to here. make sure he doesn't need to be here right. for any reason. Yeah. If he feels like he needs to be here, then I guess just have yeah, him show up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've come too far to yeah, <laughs> right. make yeah. a misstep. <laughs> yeah. so. um, okay, so we're pretty well, pretty well set there. I will, I will contact Lisa and see if she, maybe I should just kind of go up there and take a peek and see. She might have driven some rods there. Um, oh, really? Sure. Yeah. Um, so I did get to talk to oh, yeah. Sandy Ladd about um, the, you know, the kind of committed contract that we signed, and he said that um, we would be fine um, backing out of it. They could easily find someone else to take. I mean, they haven't really made their order yet. Okay, they? so it's just on so, paper right yeah, now. Yeah, that's what so I thought. So we basically have to kind of make a decision before June 1st, so we have, and okay, we'll, we'll make it. Yeah. We're going to kind of make the decision in the budget, because yes, we want yeah, to be so we need to, in fact, we're probably, let's try to plan on making a decision on the 13th. The 13th. Is this on the he, truck purchase? The new truck. Yeah, yeah. the new truck. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, we're yeah, sorry. spidering out oh, here. sorry, that was looking good. <laughs> It's um, hard to keep up. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, he said that generally the trucks, um, you know, if we kept, held on to it for, for each year we hold on to it, it would diminish, the trade-in value would diminish by about $10,000. That's kind of a rule of thumb for, for that. Okay, so that's doable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, just figuring, I didn't really, I didn't really have a whole lot of time to figure, but just a quick, um, you know, if we, if we are committed to uh, the $90,000 budgeted each year um, for paying for um, equipment or going into the HER fund, um, this next fiscal year we'll be paying, um, let's call it $34,000 for loan payments. So we would be, have, uh, you know, $56,000 yes. um, that would be going into the, yeah, right. the HERF. Right. So and we, we might be able to lower that. At some well, point maybe in the future, because yeah. we're also looking at potential about buying a tractor or putting yeah, a right. park. Yeah. So that would give us some money to do that stuff with. Yeah. So we yes, and I agree with you, right? We may, when we finally work out our spreadsheet, mm -hmm. We yeah. may decide we only need to put 35 or 40 in yeah, and lower the tax rate. Right. Yeah. But this year we might leave it up there just to, mm -hmm. yeah, we've got some other yeah. things we might want to do. The $90,000 comes from the old, there was, you know, even when I came on board, there was a, and here's a, I think I do have I, this digitally, but this is the last configuration that Skip Lindsay did for us. Um, and, in, and in all of the HERF uh, ske schedules that I've seen, um, Getting, you know, by fiscal year 2020, we had gotten up to a $90,000 appropriation for the HERF. For the HERF. Um, so just that's where that figure comes from. Yeah. Um, you know, there was a time in my select board memory where we paid a lot less than what was in the schedule um, yeah. to kind of help with the, the tax. You can, we could choose, we, but yeah, I think could, yeah, at yeah. least for now, this year, we might want to. Yeah. 
this is what we might actually change it next year. And then it's you know, going to get us to a point where we're not going to pay interest. You right. know, and that's going right. to save that's, us a that's fortune. That's the goal. Yeah. That's the goal. Yeah. And so, um, you know, with this fifty-six thousand dollars a year, there's also an additional twelve thousand plus from Swenson that's going into the Herf. Oh, right. So we're going to have. So yeah. we're going to be, you know, putting in. We'll have a little flexibility because we want. Yeah. We're looking at making some changes in potentially mm -hmm. equipment, and we yeah. gives us. Yeah. A, place yeah. to do that. Yeah, so we would have, you know, pretty quickly we'll have um, right. some money for, you know, if we do want to do this tractor mower thing yep. or... Some of that stuff I think is a really good idea to yeah. try. Is that we could try yeah. something different, so we'll try right. something yeah. different. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so is there anything else? And I did, I mentioned to um, Greg Parkhurst about, you know, us kind of wanting to meet with everybody individually and he said that he really thought that was a great idea. Yeah, so we should do that. We should January. try to schedule yeah. that for January. Yeah, starting yeah. in January, yeah. Yeah, we could do it at the end of the meeting, whether it's executive or not, it doesn't matter. Yeah, or we Might could be. try or we to do it during the daytime. daytime thing. We just have to warn them that they're just yeah. going to yeah. be executive session meetings during yeah. work hours. Yeah. I could do that as long as I had enough lead time. Yeah, so maybe what we could do again the 13th or you know, we could try to even brainstorm now. Um, of course, we, you know, we don't know if the day that we schedule is going to, we'll get a foot Who knows? drop yeah. of snow. But even then, if you're only giving me the round, so they probably can get free for it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we should try, let's figure out a time in January um, that we all would have the daytime pretty much yeah. free. And, you know, I can kind of tell you right now that for myself to have a, a full day free for me would be the 8th and the 22nd. Um, both of those days right now would work for me and just have to know I have Okay, that's yeah. All. And that, those days are totally open for You're me. You're probably only talking meeting an hour with each person. Yeah, right, yeah. So we could do, you know, in mornings, um, you know, any Thursday or any Friday morning. Um, you know, maybe Friday morning would be good because, um, the you know, they're kind of on half. Yeah. Right half now, the only day that I've got committed during the uh, day would be the 9th and the 16th I couldn't do. Okay. The rest of the time is open enough for right It sounds like Make work, work is slow at the garage. Right now so. it's yeah, slow. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to try to find a date or just Pick maybe one. wait? Okay. Um, what about um, what about the 8th? Yeah. January 8th, okay. And I'll check in with Greg about that. Do you want to try to do them all in the same day, or one at a time, or no? Um, what time do you want to start? We could, I mean, they're, they're there early. So we could start at 8 a.m. Okay. Yeah. Let's try to do them. Let's schedule an hour for each. I think, you know, it might be good for us to have, you know, just have, you know, yeah, do, it would be a um, kind of a session I think for an us. an hour for each might be long. Yeah, and right. we could just shorten it up, but just I'll schedule yeah. just right. four people, right? I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah I figured a couple, of, I figured a, a half an hour of whatever mm -hmm. is probably going to cover most okay. of I'm going to block places. out the 8 to 12 and then yeah. sooner than that. Okay. Well, right. we'll just tell them we'll start at 8 and then they can just cycle right. people in as we right. get done. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. they got radio contact there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so we'll have to warn it as a meeting and then yeah, this is going to be an executive it'll session. Be a special meeting and be an executive yeah. session. Yeah. Okay. It's in there. Okay. Great. Good. So I'll let them know that we're planning on that. And yeah. We'll see what the weather does. See what the weather does. Yeah, and again, I but think it, it might it, work. Yeah, they, you know, if, if there is a storm, they're pretty much done um, by then. They can by then, time. as far as getting the roads plowed and. And, uh, and plus, we we'll have all four of them in, so. Right. Yeah. yeah. Whoever is busy, the other guy can go hit the road. Yeah. Right. That needs yeah. to be done. Yeah. Okay. Good. I think we can be done. Mm -hmm. As I said, we only have one in here at a time, yeah. so. And I figure, you know, we could talk about some of the things that Lynn has been bringing up and some of these changes that we're thinking of. I, I mean, would really like to get their input. I definitely, you know, this input about, uh, you know, waiting on the truck. Um, you know, I, I definitely want to hear from at least the two, the two full-timers about yeah. that. Um, get their input and, um, and then just hear anything that they... Yeah, you know, whatever they want to say. Whatever they want to say, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, and I think it should be an different. annual thing at least. I agree. You know, we've always talked about that. That's yeah, just the do. So just schedule it and do it. Yeah. Well, it just used to be that we always had a road foreman in here. Yeah. It was just kind right. of praised, and we've gotten out of that. We yeah. had, did have Greg coming for a while, but he's well for the summer. For the winter. winter. But again, if we end up with this road commissioner, and we end up with that, we can have that person start yeah, that person to meet with us every. Yeah.
which yep. I think is a good use. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else about our meetings with Lynn that, that either you would like to talk about tonight? Not, nothing that I haven't already said. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't hear anything else. I've seen him a couple times. I think we have some time to work on some of the ideas. Yeah. Yeah. The big one for me is that potential of a role commissioner. Yeah. 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 How that's the how we figure how, out the how. The how. Again, we may not get it done. We aren't going to go in the budget till right. July. So whether we mm -hmm. put someone in beforehand or we yeah. Yeah. think about it, it'd yeah. be nice to if we do decide to do that and have them going by spring, wherever mm -hmm. it is, so they can mm -hmm. right for the for the crux of the, the yeah. season of work um, ahead of be, us. And it'll be a test too because you don't know if the time that you're giving them is enough. So we know right. kind of like here's what we budgeted. Let's see mm -hmm. if that works. If it doesn't, we'll have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's nothing new. Okay. Because I've heard nothing new since our last get together. So. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, that's it on the agenda. Okay. Can I just one more thing? Sure. No. Way too busy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Petition. We got the petition live online. I saw you had it on the front porch forum. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Ben went helped me get it. I found that you could create it right on our oh, website. Wow. Okay. And so I sent it to him, and he said, "I didn't know, but let me cool. check it All out." Right. So he plugged. He made it work, mm -hmm. and it works. And we are already over forty, and oh, we needed thirty-six. Yeah. Oh, yep. so perfect. So I, I figured I got a list of signatures up the house. Yeah, that's yeah. what I kind of figured you'd get. Well, I, think it, I mean, people really responded, and a lot of people. You know, having that social media the ability to share it, mm -hmm. email and social media, it's a good way to get information yeah. out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice uh, carol sing at the town hall in town park yesterday. Yeah, yeah Ellie, was was gonna, Ellie was going to go to that, but then she, then she didn't. I, I wonder what went on. I noticed 40 people showed up. So they really? That was all track. Track. Well, like, mm. well, the water was frozen at the town hall, so we were using <laughs> the fire station bathroom, so I showed up to help. We had a good time. We went and sang to a couple different houses uh -huh. in town. Uh -huh. People were shut in. And, uh -huh. Good time. That's great. Mm -hmm. So I'll make a motion we adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. See y'all.